hardship in Nigeria is not Tudembo's fault. I will not join others to criticize him. Sanusi speaks. Former Emir of Kano State, Mohamed Sanusi, has pleaded with Nigerians not to blame President Bola Tenumbu for the economic crisis in the country. Sanusi has said that it would be unfair to blame Tenumbu for the situation in Nigeria. He accused the president. He accused the immediate past administration led by President Muhammad Buhari of managing the country badly. He averred that Buhari's administ administration ignored his advice on how to take Nigeria out of its economic woes. The former Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, governor stated this during a virtuous religious event on Sunday, February 11th. He said Nigerians expecting him to speak about the country's economic hardship deliberately wanted him to oppose the president. Sanusi said, and I quote, I have been over the years talking about the pending crisis ahead of the current economic hardship. An economist who has studied monetary policy in the last eight years knows that Nigerians will fall into this difficult situation. The difficult situation Nigerians are facing is just the beginning if the right decision is not put in place because Nigeria is not exceptional. Such situations happen in Germany, Zimbabwe, Uganda, and Venezuela. The previous administration turned adamant about a pew for corrective measures on the economic policy. I have said this in the presence of the now sitting president in Kaduna State. Any politician who tells you that things will be easy, do not vote for him because he is lying. People merely dismiss my adversary as a political statement. If I am to be fair and just to if I am to be fair and just to President Bola Turembu, he is not to blame for the current hardship. For eight years we were living a fake lifestyle with huge debt from foreign land and domestic debt. The Central Bank of Nigeria owes over thirty trillion naira, which is also in debt service surpassing one hundred percent. I cannot join other Nigerians criticizing Tinumbu on the current economic hardship, and I'm not saying this I'm not saying he's a sent free from wrongdoing, but in this current economic situation, President Tinumbu is not to be blamed. I will also speak if I see any wrong economic policy of the Tinumbu administration in the future. It is injustice for anyone to blame Tinumbu administration for the current economic hardship because there is no other alternative than the removal of a full subsidy. After all, Nigeria cannot even pay, afford to pay the subsidy. In the last eight years, the central bank continued to print more money and the Naira continued to depreciate. There is too much Naira in circulation because the CBN is printing the currency without restraint. The economy was poorly managed and they are not willing to take advice. In the last eight years, apart, apart from seeing currency, nothing has been done. Those psychophants are just buying the dollar rate of 400 and selling it at the rate of 600 or 700. So Sanusi is coming out to say, yes, true, true, not be Buhari fault. But me, I can't dare the ask, say, whose fault is it then? Do you understand? Whose fault is it? Because I know that this particular this particular talk now, or whatever you are saying, you are saying we should not blame him. This, this Tunubu is the one that brought in Buhari. Buhari himself, you are saying he did not do anything. Maybe he doesn't know anything. Mr. Don't feed us with that shit. Who then removed the so-called subsidy that we are being deceived with it? For more than 40 years, cock all that bullshit conspiracy theories of yours. We are above it now. You were a liar. When people rejected Muhammad Buhari, Tunumbo received, Tunumbo deceived their entire Yoruba nations to vote him when he destroyed Nigeria. Those, okay, whose fault? God will judge all of them. Let him drop the price of bag rice to 20,000 naira. It was one of the problem. He is the president of a nation, but they cannot... They cannot lift money and call billions, trillions, and dollars. Because they cannot loot money and call billions, trillions, and dollars. So if they want to write history, whose name will appear on paper? A question that needs one million answers. Another nine months has been joined to the eight years of 
the experience of this APC. Renew hope is not renewable. Kidnapping is in the order of the day. Hunger is in the land. Now, now social media that can be our new hope. Abby, Mr. Parkwell. The thing is, coming out to say you're not blaming to them. But the thing is, who are you going to blame? Like I said, this man brought this man in. This man gave him no words. All right. There is a first, it is the fault, okay, it's a fault of if any person that is stealing public funds for his private use. I agree with Sanusi on this, as is those Nigerians that I did not know their life from the rift would disagree with you. Who bought Buhari for selfish reasons? All right. Who bought Buhari for selfish reasons? Your statements are more political than you try to hide the facts. If you are sincere to yourself, you will admit that this government are not capable and have no will and honest intelligence team to make any difference. All right. Then it is my fault at the sitting president, Abby. You are dreaming. Okay. Whose fault is around? Okay, whose fault is? Sanchez for to be APC cannot turn things around. A building that is constructed with peace will not go fall when it sees fit. All right, Sanusi, you run to Asu Rock to congratulate him for inflicting pain on my personal. All right. Have you heard that he wanted appointment? That was where he was. Okay, have you heard that he... he... Hmm. Okay. It is not his fault, but then the fault is from you. By the elements, like you, Nigeria is doing with this man as president until things are reversed, nothing will work. Coming out to say he doesn't want to blame Tunbu because uh, you told the previous administration and you also told this one. Are they taking your advice? So, what, what, what are you saying? All right, well, at the end of the day, like I said, Sanusi coming out to say it is not Tunubu's fault. Whose fault is it then? Whose fault? All right, at the end of the day, this is, um, at the end of the day, the Sanus is coming outside to say that it is not Tolimbo's fault. I'm asking, whose fault is it? Because somebody would definitely have to take the blame. His fault? Our fault. <laughs> All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy.